Hey guys, this is Darnan. Uh, I just got Minecraft on Friday. Um, I don't remember what the date is, but it's two days ago. Today is Monday, three days ago, whatever. And Minecraft is awesome. I used to talk a bunch of crap about it because the graphics were horrible, and turns out it is the most, one of the most addicting games I have ever played. If I could find my way out of here, there we go. All right, I have been hard at work mining and building myself an awesome house. I hope you guys like it. I'm getting ready to show it to you here as soon as I can get out of my mine. All right. I have three levels on my mine. The second level I haven't even really started on. The third level was nothing, but the first level right here, I got my little emergency water right here in case I'm on fire because I touched lava. And yeah, I got a couple shafts going down. I ran into lava a bunch. And then I had, uh, they go farther, they just work their way up a little bit so I can come out above the lava. As you can see right here, there's some bedrock, so I can't go any farther down really. And um, I've been having trouble getting some iron so I can finish my minecart. Because I can only get it enough to where I can just get out of my mine. It goes really far. It's a big mine. that sign I'm so funny I don't know what I was thinking when I put that all right this is my house it's a floating fortress with lava and stuff it's awesome and this is survival mode FYI someone was telling me about um, what is it creative mode to where you can just fly around and make stuff I cannot fly see I'm on the ground I can't fly this is not creative mode I made this in survival. I don't know if I should be proud of it or not, but I am, so if you guys hate it, then whatever. All right. This is my kitchen. Guest room's down there. I'll show you that in a minute. This is my, my kitchen stuff's here. I have the, the rooms lit with lava and some torches. Uh, building materials, stuff that I've collected. This is my backyard. This took me a while, um, there's a lot of dirt. <clears throat> and a little tip, I had to do a lot of research online. Uh, to get the grass to grow uh, when it's floating like this, I actually had to build like a little land bridge coming up from there. And you have to wait, it takes like, it takes a good couple minutes for it to grow. I didn't really time it, I just kind of connected it and then went and did my own thing. But um, yeah, you connect it to where the grass is adjacent to each individual dirt block. And eventually it'll make its way up and then once it made its way up I just got rid of the the bridge and then the dirt spread or the grass spread all over my dirt then I planted some pretty trees get a nice view of the the end of the ocean right there I don't want to fall off the world all right lots of trees I had to cut some of this uh, these leaves so I could walk around back here I wasn't expecting that Ooh. All right, that is my backyard. This is, oh, I'll show you the guest room later again. Mining equipment and stuff, whatever. I don't know how to make the end portal thing yet. I'll have to look into that. All right, second floor is, I guess, my bedroom. There's again, lava coming from the ceiling. I had a huge bed, because I felt like it. All right, this is my, this is my wheat farm right here. What is this? Oh, I didn't leave that there. I don't know what I was doing with that. This is my, my wheat farm. Floating wheat farm. For real, I didn't realize that uh, this stuff gave you so many seeds. Yeah, I started, oops. I started off with like enough to make one row and after a couple times of doing it, I ended up with a crap ton. I've got a bunch here. Oh, come on, get out the door. I've got a bunch more stuff in here. Seeds. All right top floor. This is my lava. I transported it from the mine so I can have my, my stuff. This is where I keep my extra lava. I don't have any right now. I need to go get some more. This is my, my more lava. Got some more lava right here so it goes down and it lights up my house. All right, yeah. You can run out on under the trees here. All right. Oh, I forgot I did that. Me and a friend were just building towers and creating waterfalls and jumping down them. He doesn't know how to jump down a waterfall. He kept dying. 
Emergency water right here. You always gotta have water on hand if you're playing with lava because you catch on fire, you don't wanna die. Now I'm gonna go show you the guest room, which I'm pretty proud of. I just think it looks cool. It's not very complicated to do, but water drips from from the ceiling from the extra water there. I think if I put two blocks thick there, it won't do that. But it's not like it's draining or anything, so it's just aesthetics. I don't really care. Uh, if I could remember where to go. Oh yeah, my house is so big I can't remember where everything's at. This is an all glass, well partially mostly glass you can't put anything on the glass so I had to put some blocks down so like the bed could be here but yeah this is a pretty cool room I think it stays very well lit at night <laughs> all right well I think that's it I'll give you one more view from far away real quick maybe I'll go on my water tower no that's too far Okay. Creepers keep blowing up my little my walls here. All right. Oh, quick question, guys. Anyone who does watch this, uh, leave me a comment with the answer. Um, someone told me that in the Xbox 360 version, um, you can start a game in creative mode and switch it to uh, survival. I didn't know that was possible, but. For real, guys, I did not do this in creative mode and then switch it. This is survival. I started it in survival, and I'm proud of my house. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or a subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.